Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a quick unboxing of the content planner. I ordered this for pre-order way back in like October, November, and it finally arrived today. I know that she had some shipping issues due to COVID, but that's all right. Uh, I'm just glad that I finally got my planner in the mail. So the content planner is used for, you bet, content planning. Um, all I did was take it out of the box. This is how it was nicely packaged. This is definitely more of a, it's looking more orange on camera than it is, but it's more of like a, like a, um, I can't think of the name of the color, but it's showing up more orange than it is in real life. And then it does have some gold embossing. So I'm gonna just open it up. And here's what you see inside the box. There is a little thank you card for investing in the content planner. Kat is the owner of the company. And then there is this really cool tissue paper that the planner itself is actually wrapped in. It says plan it, post it, profit. That's kind of like her motto for her company. So I'm gonna open this right up here. And here we have it. That is the content planner itself. And it did come with a pretty pen. So I'm just gonna put this aside for a moment. Here we have the planner. It is a wider book compared to most planners. So let me try and find my, where'd my work planner go? It disappeared, oh, it's on the floor. Anyway, it is a wider book per se compared to other types of planners that are on the market. Let me show you guys what I mean by that. So here's my Erin Condren Daily Duo. I'm gonna put it right on top. So you can see the dimensions are different. It's definitely wider. Um, the height is about the same, to be honest. It may be a little bit shorter, but it's definitely wider. So that is kind of the first thing I you notice. It does have a double O-ring binding, which is not my favorite. And then it did come with this jazzy pen here. Very cool. The edges um, have these, their corner, metal corner pieces to protect the cover and it is a hard cover planner. So let's get into what this bad boy looks like. So I'm gonna open it up. So it, like I said, it's a large planner. On the left side, there is a pocket. And then here we have some bookmark pages to attach to loose notes in my planner. And then I think I ordered these. I don't honestly remember if these or part of my pre-order or not, but this sheet has basically everything you, you can think of in terms of like social media. So lives, Instagram stories, blogging, recording, editing, posting. So a whole bunch of stickers for this first page. Then we've got two of those. Oh no, we have lots of those. So we've got three of those, four. So there's four sheets of these. Maybe they came with the pre-order, I don't remember. So we have four social media sticker pages. Then we have these to put on the actual months of the planner. So we have the months themselves. These I think go in like the actual spreads and then these say launch, day off, deadline and important. So very cool. So again, I'm gonna set these off to the side. Here's the front page. So it says the content planner, if found, please return to. This probably will stay at my house to be honest, but I'll fill it in anyways. Uh, let's see, so we have on the left, there is how to use the content planner. Um, and then this page says you hold the power to design your future. So let's flip it again. So we have filling out your planner, things to have on your radar, some monthly themes for posting, 2021 holidays and marketing ideas. This is fantastic if you do social media or if you have like an online business. 2021 day holidays in different countries. That's awesome. A year at a glance. So we have from January to December broken up into Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. A place for my dreams. So it has monthly goals on your radar, hashtags, hit list and collabs, boost your planner mindset, and this is like a place to jot down notes. So this is kind of like a pre-planning spread, I guess you could call it. And then here's the actual monthly. Now I'm gonna try and get this in the shot the best I can, but like I said, this planner's huge. So you have Monday through Sunday going across from left to right. And then you have five rows per month. So that should basically let you figure everything out for a month. Over here on the left, you have month, 
weekly goals, your business growth, this month's theme, this month I will, this month I won't. And then on the right side, you have my wins for each of the weeks. So here you can put in like the day of the week and then whatever content you need to plan out. And that's it. That's the spread for this planner. I'm super excited to start using it to really focus on planning my YouTube content and my Instagram content. So let's flip through this and see what else is in this planner. But this is the big, the big kahuna. This planner is very large. You guys can't tell, but it stretches a good chunk of my desk. So I see how this works. So this would be like, say February, you flip the page and then you have another like dashboard page to plan your next month. And then it just repeats. Um, and there's probably enough for 12 months, I think. So let's flip to the back. Yeah, see this just repeats over and over again. Is there anything like in the back of this planner? Oh, there is. So there, at the very back, there's some grid paper. So this says my plan to take over the world. So you have some grid paper in the back. Let my imagination run wild. And then it says order your next planner at thecontentplanner.com. And that's, that's pretty much it. It's just a monthly content planner. Like I said, I plan on using this for YouTube and Instagram. Um, if I ever decide to re-erect or resurrect my blog, I plan on using this for YouTube and Instagram. And if I ever decide to resurrect my blog, I would use it for planning that as well. So yeah, this is a super exciting planner. Um, some things to note about this. It's pretty thin, which is awesome. It is very large. Um, I know that's a complaint that a lot of people have that it really spans a good chunk of your desk. Um, but you could basically just keep it like this flat if you wanted to and then like the second half of the week go like this. It is a large book. I did also notice, I don't, let me see if they are on all of the monthly pages or if it's just this one I noticed it on. So let's see. Yeah, so there's no tabs in this planner, which is one thing I just noticed. However, I'm gonna try and show you guys this because I just noticed it myself. On each of the monthly spreads, well, not this first one. There's nothing no, marked here. Let me see if I can find one. Yeah, so this one, there's the, you, there's nothing here on the side that would indicate like what month this is in the planner. But if you look here, there's a small gray bar that if you were to put tabs on this planner, which I think you can do with the stickers I got, this would show you where to put the sticker. So that's actually pretty helpful um, if you're planning this out. So yeah, there's no tabs, but there's stickers that you could put here to mark the tabs. This is completely undated, so you can start it basically as soon as you get it. There's lots of prep pages in the beginning. And I thought I might try and do a quick pen test to see how my favorite pens work. So I'm gonna flip basically to the back. I don't really know if I'll use these notes pages, but we can think about it. Where is my, my pens on the floor? Okay, so I'm gonna try the S-Gel 0.1 in the corner. So this is Sharpie S gel 0.7. And I'm also gonna grab the Papermate Ink Joy. Grab the right one. That's another Sharpie. Here we go. Papermate Ink Joy gel and 0.7. Uh, and then I'm just gonna grab a mild liner and see how this looks. Let's flip this over and look at the back. It actually looks pretty good. There's no real bleeding. I can tell that I wrote on the paper, but it doesn't seem to be bleeding through or anything like that. And it seems to have dried pretty quickly. So that's good. This paper feels very nice, by the way. And that's... I mean, that's pretty much it. There's not much else to really say about this planner other than it's a content planner. And if you're somebody who has a small business or you're somebody that runs a YouTube channel or an Instagram account or a blog, this is perfect for you. Uh, I believe you can purchase these online still at thecontentplanner.com. 
I think she also has like free printables where you can try out a layout. So if that's, you know, what you would be interested in, then I would recommend that. And I think that's really it that I wanted to cover. If you guys have any specific questions about this planner, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. Otherwise, I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this planner. I love sharing different ones in the community with you. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for all types of planner and lifestyle content. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.